Hi everyone, so I wanted to come out and uh, show you something over on the side of the house if I can do it without the sun getting in the way. Lots of sun today. Um, so the other day I was out here in the yard walking the dog. And let me see if I can zoom in to this hole. I don't know if you can. Yeah, okay. This hole right here in the side of the house. Now, this is the addition. But look here. You can see all the spaces. It's like a concrete slab anyway. This has spaces all the way around it. What would have to happen... They built this on top of a concrete slab. So what would have to happen is dig a trench and probably pour concrete in there and seal up these holes. Because, and as you can see, look at this. Y'all, I believe that's a snake hole. Because the other day when I was out here walking the dog, I seen a snake come out of that hole. And it was in this back room here, which is the laundry room, where the walls need to be tore out. But there's a snake skin in the hole, in the wall. And like I said, I seen it come out, and it climbed up the side of the house a little bit, and then it jumped, and it went back here towards that field. So... I've got to get out here, you know, there's always like a breeze out here, um, but I have to get out here, as you can see, see the breeze, always a nice breeze, that's one thing with the trees and the breeze close to the beach, that's one thing I like about down here, it's a little bit cooler than it was where I was at, but see all this around, these ditches, I'm going to have to burn them out and then wake all the trash out of them. Um, they just plowed this field back here. I need to get the weed eater. I can weed eat along the edge there. But I am paying someone, actually the landlord's husband, to mow most of the grass. Um, I told him because, you know, we're hooked up right now with water hoses and... Um, electrical line here uh, that we would mow around the immediate campers because we've got so much stuff. Um, yeah, my daughter bought this nice set. We're going to get a grill. Um, fireworks are legal in, in South Carolina. They're not in North Carolina. So we've got to wash our campers and our RVs. Um, and finish cleaning up, you know, burning the ditches and stuff. Uh, like I said, this addition on this house, you'd have to dig a trench all the way around and seal all this up. The block side of the house, you know, not so bad. Um, he did get a lot of the garbage out of the backyard, uh, but he still has more to take off. So once all that garbage is gone, and I weed eat good and burn out these ditches, uh, we can snake away around the house and around the campers. Uh, but we're going to have to put snake away around the edge of all these ditches in this field here. Because if there's one thing I don't like, it's a snake. I'm not sure what kind that was. I'm thinking possibly looked like it could have been a copperhead. Um, but I'm not crazy about even a damn chicken snake. I just, to me, they're of the devil. I don't like them. Uh, it's, the only, it's the one thing here on earth that, you know, I look at as evil. Um, you can see I've been raking. Uh, I told my daughter she's got to clean up around this house. 
uh, we got to get the push mower and mow right around her house and my house. But the rest of it, I had him mow down. Um, so she was parked here. So like I said, you know, I didn't want him getting too close to the lines and around the camper. Um, so we got a little bit of cleaning up and mowing to do right around our houses. I'm hoping to get my camper over here and the electric right here and dig the trench for our septic lines so we can utilize, you know, this side of the property uh, while we try to work on this house. Um, hold on for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go back inside and uh, try to tell you the rest of the story. Yeah, there's still some cleaning. You see around my camper here, we got to clean this up. You know, he didn't mow right here. I don't know why he didn't get right here, but it's close enough, y'all, that I can push mow that little bit. Like I said, around our campers. Um, because of the breeze, I don't want to burn the ditches right now. You know, it's kind of too windy. Now, right here on the brick side of the house, you can see, we're also going to have to dig a trench and probably fill this in with concrete. Same with these holes here. Any place I see any gaps, we're probably going to have to, you know, we're going to have to fill it in with uh, either concrete or something else. This side of the house has the well, and that's where my water's hooked in. Um, and there's a ditch right here that needs to be burned. That's a little close to my camper, so I'm going to have to really wet it down good and stand right there over it with the hose. And that's why I don't want no wind or breeze when I do it. And you can see the breeze because you can see this thing here blowing. Um, these I need to... Can't do it till the fall now, but these need to be spread out, these flowers. Um, my daughter doesn't like the elephant ears. I don't blame her. I don't know why anyone planted these climbing flowers this close to the house. The bush has to be trimmed because snakes can hide in there, you know. Um, so, really, y'all, any, any kind of gaps, we're going to have to fill in. All right, I'll continue in the house.